So yes, spiders can develop resistance to any pesticide as um, can any animal if they're exposed to non-lethal doses. And then they could potentially pass that resistance on to their offspring um, ge genetically. And so yes, spiders can develop re resistance to any pesticide. As, as far as the rotation between products, it, it's important if you're gonna rotate products for spider control to utilize products uh, from different chemical classes. And so uh, you, you can easily find this information on uh, the IRAC website, and that's I-R-A-C. It's the Insecticide Resistance Action Committee site. And they have a list of all the different active ingredients and their modes of action that separate the active ingredients into different chemical classes. And you can actually print this out as a poster and it's a great visual aid to help explain rotation. And so to have that true um, rotation and stewardship, uh, especially in um, spider control, you, you would want to uh, rotate between two or three different chemical classes. And like I said, you can look those different uh, active ingredients up and see which class and which mode of action they fall into to help you do a, a true uh, rotation. As far as um, differences between py pyrethroids, there could be subtle differences in FC of pyrethroids based on uh, the formulation of those different pyrethroids. So for instance, uh, again, I'll use Demand CS as uh, an example with that ICAP proprietary ICAP technology, those caps are protected and it's gonna offer you much longer residual control than a product that is not capped. 